It's Barbenheimer time. This is Digital Charcuterie. Like, subscribe, you know the drill. Today, ranking Christopher Nolan's movies all the way 1 through 10. Oppenheimer is not on this list. Whether I've seen it or not, it is far too new to, for me to put in this ranking. I haven't seen it. Spoiler alert, I haven't seen it. I plan to very soon. But here are the rankings of Christopher Nolan movies in my HMO, let me know what yours are in the comments down below. Can't wait to hear how much all of you disagree with me. 11. Insomnia. I thought the acting in this was superb, and Christopher Nolan did a pretty good job, but as a follow-up to Memento, which of course was a follow-up to the following, it just it felt like the Hollywood route to me. Uh, Insomnia is a psychological thriller set in Alaska. Insomnia tells the story of a detective investigating a murder while battling his own deteriorating mental state. Number 10. Speaking of the following, a following. 19, all the way back from 1998. If you're looking for some color in your life, don't pick this one. This was Nolan's first feature film. It showcased his talent for non-linear storytelling, which he would use multiple times throughout his career. Uh, shot on a shoestring budget, this psychological thriller follows a writer who becomes entangled in a mysterious criminal underworld. Definitely worth checking out if you are a fan of Christopher Nolan. Number nine, Tenet. I kind of like Tenet, but it just kind of, it just wasn't up to par with the other offerings of Christopher Nolan. It felt like he was a little bit in over his head with it. Uh, Tenet is uh, about a secret agent who was given a single word as his weapon and set to prevent the onset of World War III. He must travel through time and bend the laws of nature in order to be successful in his missions. Got a lot of cool concepts and scenes in it. Worth checking out. Uh, but when you're ranking a list, things have to fall where they fall. Number Eight. Memento. How mad are you that this is this far down on my list? This nonlinear thriller propelled Nolan into the limelight. Its unique storytelling technique where the narrative unfolds in reverse order challenges the viewer's perception and creates a gripping experience. Unfortunately, my opinion of it was it was great on the first watch, but after that, you're kind of like, well, well, the shtick is worn off. It's still a great movie and everything, but the shtick wears off. It's not quite as great as it was the first time. Number seven. Batman Begins. After the disastrous Batman and Robin, which I love, Christopher Nolan was hired to refreshing vision through the dark night. He brought a darker and more grounded approach in Batman Begins. It laid the foundation for the character's psychological depth and explores Bruce Wayne's transformation into the iconic superhero. Number six, The Prestige. A mesmerizing tale of rivalry and obsession, The Prestige explores the world of illusionists in the Victorian era London. With its intricate plot twists and brilliant performances by Hugh Jackman and Christian Bale, the film keeps viewers on the edge of their seats. The ending is a bit meh. Number five, The Dark Knight Rises. This was the final installment in Nolan's Batman trilogy. The Dark Knight Rises completes the character arc while exploring themes of redemption and sacrifice. While not as universally acclaimed as its predecessor, it still provides a satisfying conclusion to the series. Number four, Interstellar. Interstellar. Known for its ambitious scale and emotional depth, Interstellar delves into themes of time, space, and the power of love. It combines breathtaking visuals with thought-provoking concepts, making it a memorable science fiction epic. And unlike Tenet, I just, I felt like he had a handle on this one from the get-go. Whereas Tenet, I kind of felt like got away from him. Whatever. Number three, Dunkirk. Offering a different perspective on war films, Dunkirk showcases Nolan's, Nolan's mastery of tension and suspense. The non-linear narrative intertwines multiple storylines, creating a harrowing portrayal of the evacuation of Allied soldiers during World War II in only 90 minutes. Number two. Here we go. Are you ready? The Dark Knight. Wildly regarded as one of the greatest superhero films ever made, The Dark Knight showcases Nolan's ability to bring depth and realism to the genre. It features a captivating performance by Heath Ledger as the Joker and explores themes of chaos and morality. And number one, Inception. I just think that this is actually one of those films that's just, there's like Die Hard, there's Jaws. Inception is up there with for me. Uh, this film is often considered one of Nolan's most ambitious and visually stunning works. It masterfully combines complex storytelling, mind-bending concepts, and spectacular action sequences, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. And the one great thing about Inception is if you pay attention to the movie, 
you know exactly what's going on because they flat out tell you. That is my ranking of Christopher Nolan's films. Looking forward to Oppenheimer. Let me know what your list is in the comments down below. I love to read it and I comment on all of them. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.